Hello, greetings, and welcome back to another episode. Um, I kind of did a little mistake. Uh, I can't count, as it seems. This is episode 8, and not the last one. <laughs> so, okay, we are at episode 8 now. Oh, we did quite a bit. Already have some Botania stuff. Have some really nice tools. And, uh, yeah. We are rolling, and um, as promised, we are going to the nether, or not, because I want a thing. <laughs> uh, not going to tell you. Okay, I'm going to tell you, I want a jetpack before we go to the nether, because uh, without a jetpack, it's it can be, it mustn't, but it can be a huge pain. So, yeah, let's get a jetpack, and for that, we are going to need some things. So the jetpack I want to make is not the industrial craft one because it's way too... Uh, oh, and, and you need to go to the nether first, so... And it's way too hard to make, so we're gonna do one, uh, make one from um, mechanism. Gonna need some steel, some tin, a basic gas tank, which is just some osmium and redstone, and uh, more osmium and redstone for the basic control circuit and uh, metallurgic infuser, which is just some osmium and redstone and a bit iron so uh, let's get started with a metallurgic infuser we have two furnaces here osmium is here already crushed some because we are gonna need some crushed osmium too and i have quite a bit osmium here let's put it inside the signal so it can chill while we're doing other stuff well tin is ready nice so, metallurgic, uh, I'm wrong here, so metallurgic infuser, oh, the redstone is missing, we have quite a bit of that, that's nice, metallurgic infuser, thank you, we kinda want some cables, do we, we just need some iron and redstone, so I'm gonna do that now, Alloys only, come out. Uh, six will be enough just for now, I think. Will it be? Okay, it works. So the binder compositor we have here. I'm gonna make two sets of this. And ten does not belong in here. So, okay, we set up the metallurgic infuser just... Mm, how do I want this to be? Good question! Thank you. Um, <laughs> for now, let's just pop it here. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> and uh, iron and osmium? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's make some basic circuits. Yeah. Kind of want to see the recipes. So, oh, we just need one. The rest will be um, iron. That uh, will be uh, alloys, enriched alloys, I think. And uh, I, if I remember, we need nine. If not, we have some spare ones. It's gonna make a tank. Oh, okay. One is just enough. Take that out. And the steel. Alright, the steel. So we need to make two pieces of steel. And I will just show you how we make steel the easy and cheap way. <laughs> And not uh, spending like whole tech trees or blast furnaces or whatever just to make some steel. No, no. We're gonna infuse the uh, iron with uh, coal. And uh, we do it right here in the met metallurgic uh, infuser. That will be really easy. We need uh, one coal and one iron that makes us some. Um, what's called? Enriched iron, it should be. Iron and redstone. 
Yeah. Um, iron and uh, coal makes enriched iron, and then enriched iron with another piece of coal will make steel dust. Uh, a thing to remember: uh, charcoal gives you more. Uh, give, give, will, will give you the, the uh, double amount of coal inside here, but I just use normal coal because why not? So, uh, because I don't think we have charcoal or spare wood to burn anyway. Don't want to waste our wood. So, the enriched iron is going its way. Conductive iron will be our way to go. Energy coin, that's nice. So, we will. Kinda ugly if I do it from the front, so I think I'm going. That's not why I, what I wanted. Not at all. <laughs> uh, kinda want to do it on the back side. Why it's so dark? Place some torches here. And bam. So. Catch. Ah! He used the wrong tool. Ah. Oh boy, I just wasted a lot of energy. And I kinda hate myself for that. I am stupid. Very stupid. Oh boy. So stupid. Uh, didn't do what I wanted. So I need my power. Want this before. Iron, so you're gonna make what you're gonna make and let's set up these two machines at least they uh, will know what they had like and what they had in and all this stuff uh, push pull nope not uh, this side pull all right you are in all smelting and you don't need any config at all so let's just move the uh, let's not move the infuser until it's done and now move the infuser and connect our machines to here i think the infuser will just go here where it doesn't hurt anyone and the alloy smelter we will use for our steel to uh, quickly melt it. Have some tin powder here. Don't know where it came from. Hurry up. <laughs> Let's see. Osmium dust we need for speed upgrades. We need two at least. At least two. I think that will be enough. Yeah, I know. I don't think we are s making speed upgrades right now. So, all right. If we have two, we are good to go. So, two will go in here. Rest will go back into the smelter, and the tinders can go away. Don't need that in my inventory just for now. So, with osmium, we have the steel. And we can go on. So, um, we've just made ourselves a jetpack. As easy as that. But we can't use it now because if I hold spacebar, <laughs> nothing happens. And you see it uh, in the bottom left. We don't have any hydrogen. We need hydrogen um, to fly. And where do we need? Uh, where do we get hydrogen from? From an uh, electro electrolytic separator so let's look that up electrolytic ah, there it is gold dust iron dust uh, gold dust iron dust quickly did I only tin dust alright we have a segment and that's good <laughs> we, have, we have it for a reason <laughs> at least I can say that The enriched alloy will be for some other thing I missed for now. 
so ah for for here okay <laughs> I looked it up just a second and uh, already forgot it so electrolytic core and nice we have our electrolytic separator and I wanna play this with something in mind we can move that later so we place it here Where? okay <laughs> I say we place it here thank you <laughs> weird thing uh, destroy these walls need more space here I really have more space but I like to build in the corner so ah. it's fine it's fine so we need prepare this and god i love this magnet that's really nice for doing such things let's hook it up with power uh, right down here and there and we have the electrolytic separator and the electrolytic separator speak that out three times in a row very fast <laughs> I kinda wanna use them. Um, can I make another tank? Tell me yes please. Fluid tank. Fluid tank. Let's say... I can. I just need one glass piece. But I think I can even use a glass pane. Can't. Really. Ah, oh well. Wait, was there another recipe? Candy machine. Okay, that's new to me. But uh, <laughs> okay, we just uh, use the last glass we have. Make another tank. So we have no two lava tanks, and I will move them over to here. So output the bottom. Make it somewhere realistic. And boom. So we have now eight free cells. Or can I use e ah, I hope I can use cells for that. Let's get some water. Let's make another infinity water source in our home. Would be quite nice. So we don't have to go outside where the creepy monsters are. Let's make it just down here. One and two. Nice. And do it by hand, just for now. We will automate it. It did work, nice. Let's quickly put our jetpack inside and it will suck up the hydrogen we are producing and will store it in our jetpack directly. So let's fill it up with water. And I want to do another tank from mechanism because I don't want to waste uh, the other stuff don't even know how it's named now uh, this tank osmium and oh I, I have even enough ah, it's not a flint and steel one will be more than enough visit here uh, the oxygen because we need the, ox uh, the, the oxygen for our tripling so yeah, uh, these are getting drained quite a bit. Oh. Nah, slowly but surely. But that's not a big problem. They're producing more than enough. Fill this up a bit. So we have a little buffer here. Whew, a speed upgrade would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> let's see. Uh, did we already? Uh, let's deal 30 of here. Let's make some speed upgrades. Speed upgrade. So, yeah, uh, not item conduit. Here, speed upgrade. Just some glass. Uh, it should be enough for the moment. Like two speed upgrades. That's the smelter. Alright. 
We can even only do one because we don't have the, the enriched alloys. We're going to use our last enriched, but I will do more like eight. So we have them on hand if we need them. So speed upgrade. All right. Let's see if we're gonna draw that power quickly. How much is the? Okay. So it's just double the speed, and we're using 320 RF attack, and we are producing just under 20. So now we are gonna drain some, but again we have some uh, storage here, so it's not the end of the world. And while that is running, I, I mean we, we could take it out, that won't be uh, not a problem, but uh, I want it to be kind of full. And we have some other things to do, let me just, I have made this, and uh, this can go away, this can go away, so we have a couple of things to do, because I don't want to do this manual inserting every time, so we're gonna do uh, the extra utilities um, transfer node for liquid that will um, be kind of a water pumping system so for that we need the transfer node liquid quickly gonna do with that couple of steps oh good that we made some glass uh, and we need a bucket. I think we get a bucket back. I hope so. We don't. Ah, that's not the end of the world. So we can drink that. So we need some of this stuff. Two, well, let's make three. Um, but first a resonator. Gonna need a block of coal and five iron. Let's get half a stack. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's make the block of coal. Um, I will um, explain the resonator in just a second. Just wanna prepare everything we're gonna need. So we don't have to run forth and back. Uh, solar panel. Polished stone and lapis. Polished stone is just some stone bricks uh, again in the same shape and we have polished stone and lapis we do have more than enough luckily <laughs> so uh, we can place this anywhere um, it doesn't matter i will just place it here for convenience and um, now we can see that for the mining upgrade that uh, it can uh, allows mining of cobblestone and pumping of water Pumping of water is uh, what we are uh, after. And uh, to make that, we need uh, the resonator and input a weighted pressure plate into the resonator. And uh, that will require uh, this block over here, but it won't work without power. I can show it you right now. If we input it here, it says it needs 8 GP and only has uh, 0 .0 .0 .0 0.4. I don't even know where that came from, just for some bug fixing, I don't know. So we need at least 8 GP and we need more solar panels. Or any other form, let's see what do we have, uh, GP. Uh, Dragon Egg Mill would be really nice, it gives uh, actually 500 fire mill, okay, lava mill. Stone burned. How much GP does stone burned? Uh, at least A2. So we kinda do have a problem, but let's see. We are gonna fix it anyways. <laughs> um let's make some more solar panels. So we get nine, just place them outside, like directly behind this. No one must see them. Just lay them out, nice. And you can see uh, we have uh, uh, zero out of nine grid power and uh, generating one per solar panel. So we have nine power free and up to use. 
And now the resonator will run and make us our uh, upgrade template out of the weighted gold plate. You see, it, it will slowly uh, use, our, uh, use up all that, that energy while it's doing its progress. And we have an upgrade base. Now we just need that gold pickaxe with some sticks. We don't have some, so I'm gonna make a couple of sticks and the golden pickaxe and the upgrade base. Now we have the upgrade mining. So to make it uh, a pump, just place the transfer node like so, destroy the block and gonna need one transfer cable there. So it will input water from down there directly to the bot, uh, to, to the top. The problem is we need 10 GP for it to run. Uh, we do not. What the actual... We're using more than we're generating and it's still working? I mean, <laughs> I don't have any problem with that. <laughs> Like, not at all. It's just confusing me. But I, okay, our jetpack is full. That's really great. Um, gonna make that to juice and fill up these. Five on hand would be nice. These are all generating. Can take the tank out of that. And this uh, will stop consuming if one of both tanks is full. I could set it to... Um, Dump axis so it won't be at 80% uh, and the other one won't fill up. So if you just need one of, of the of the two, you can use that uh, on the bottom here. Yeah, dumping axis, dumping all or idle, but uh, idle will be just good enough. So we have everything done on my to do list and we are ready to go into the nether, but not now. We're gonna go there next episode, I promise. Now that we uh, have a really great... Um, yeah, we, we have... Uh, <laughs> you know what I want to say. We have a sash, so we are faster, can jump higher. Ring of magnetization, so we can mine everything. Regardless where it is, or where high it is, if it's above lava or, or something. And we can fly, we can actually fly, I will show to you. In the regular mode, we can just uh, fly, and if we, if I press uh, my configured button, we hover, and I can regulate the hay uh, with uh, shift and uh, space. So that's nice. Next episode, building a Nether portal and explore it, get some resources so we can move on. That will be really nice. As always, thanks for watching, until next episode, see ya!